As the first season of Founders Connect Africa comes to a close, let's take a recap of what happened throughout the season. Um, we want to thank all on 150,000 viewers for your sharing, for your viewing. And we also want to thank all the entrepreneurs who agreed to tell their stories. We brought to you very great stories of inspiration. We've seen a lot of Kenyan entrepreneurs very aggressive to take uh, businesses to the next level. We started with uh, the food chain, Chep Chikoni. Now, Chep has a great food chain, and I hope that um, you enjoyed that show of Chep telling us how she started from um, cooking homemade meals to a, um, a great brand. We also went and met the communication guru, John Ruto, who left her job during a very um, bad crisis, this coronavirus pandemic, to start selling avocados. We left the kitchen and took you to your dressing room. Um, with Nakulu Lutabona Kaimea, who taught us also starting a side hustle when you're still working. And after that, we took you to this young lady who was a sign language interpreter at a media house, but um, lost her job and started her business with only 50 shillings. And here we are. This is Founders Connect Africa. Now, that is why we started Founders Connect Africa, to bring to you stories of people who started their business, to tell us how they failed in some, how they made it in some, and we brought to you 12 amazing stories in different sectors. We actually started this thing during COVID. Um, so hearing stories of resilience, stories of, uh, uh, you know, never giving up, you know, never dying, and uh, how people had just quickly adapted to the situation and continued to run their businesses. Uh, and they were literally from all over the country. And for me, it, it was just a clear testament of the Kenyan entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, I don't think we give enough credit to the entrepreneurs in this country. Uh, even, I mean, just, uh, we had Mashuja Day, and I think a lot of the people who should be celebrated are entrepreneurs, because entrepreneurs don't give up. They adjust quickly, they do everything possible to hold on to their employees and keep jobs running. So for me that was just the most amazing thing, to see the, the spirit of resilience and fighting uh, that came out from the different entrepreneurs, the ingenuity that there is. I'm just like, I mean, from many of the entrepreneurs we hear, uh, if we were to let them run this country, we would really go far. <laughs> Fear and business cannot be in the same sentence. Hmm? Yeah, two different two hey, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, sometimes things are thick. Yes. You have not made anything, but you put on a brave face and come and tell customer, Karibu, have something, you know. So you have to be brave. The zeal or fluctuates. There are times you have like, you're like, yes, I will do it. There are days you're like, hey, my friend, today I, I, I just give up. I yeah. give up. Yeah. But like you have to have something that the why the i know a lot of people say why and it sounds a bit cliche but you have to be true to your why like you have to say okay you go why did i do this you answer and then why did i do that and then you go to the really core why as to why you're doing that because every time you go and you get all those notes you can always fall back to your why there's a time i was like do I really need to do this? Yeah. <laughs> do I really, as in like, is it a ex yes. <laughs> and then I sit back, think yeah. about how far I've come. Mm. And I'm like, you know what? You cannot do this. Mm. Look at my customers, the ones that they repeat customers. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let them down. Mm. Look at the people who just gas me up on social media and they're mm. like, you're doing it. And then I'm so passionate about fashion mm. because this is what, as in, if I could eat, drink, sleep, this is where I'll do it. I keep on telling people, the, the pity party is going to happen. I mean, you've lost something. Of course, you're going to go through that process of uh, <clears throat> mourning. And of course, you've lost something, so you're going to be in denial. And then you're going to start feeling sorry for yourself. And that can go as long as you want. You feel like some low resonance energy when you're in that space. And then I was like, no, that's not my story. This is going to work out for me. So I started doing a farm. This is going to work out for me, whatever, whatever mm. comes. Mm. This is going to work out for me. Mm. I remember struggling, having those mental wars, mm. Mm. like, what next? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the moment I decided to like, be not a victim, yeah. but a victor, and decide like, this is not going to work against me. Mm. This is going to work for me. Yeah. 
but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it work for me. So it's by me as a victim. You must be good at something. One, there's something that you must be good at. Just, can you try to focus on that and try to move away from the depression, from the stress? Like for me, what does it for me is cleaning. And from that, that is where my breakthrough came. Just go do something, start something. Yeah, just talk to people, you know, like we can help. As we have already started, we can help out how as much as we can, you know. So it's not all about capital. You know, you just keep, can't keep on complaining and claiming that, oh, I don't have capital to start. Start with something. I tell people, you don't need to wait for a shop. Maybe along the way, you can work from your house. If you're in a big estate yeah. and you have a smartphone. That's um, a business. That's a business already you're losing. Yeah. Yeah. Be very careful who you work with. Uh, you know, you may partner with people and uh, you don't always share the same vision, you don't always have the same ideas. Uh, so it's important, to, very important to pick who you work with. Did you drop a few partners before? Yeah, I've had partners come, had partners go, so that's why I say it's very important to pick so that the journey becomes smoother yeah. when you work with people who you, you gel with better. Uh, so if, if, you, if you want to get into the, into the space, uh, you you have to pay your dues first of all, like 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 everybody has to pay your and your dues is time, your dues is workflow, your dues is uh, uh, building a network. Uh, you have to build a brilliant portfolio uh, for you to even think of accessing uh, the space. Do it anyway, yes, just do it. If that's what you love and that's where your heart is, do it. You might not find you might not have all the answers then but answers come with time answers come with experience mm. answers come with consultation so just do it and you know what it's amazing the feeling is so amazing sometimes you will have very dark days those days are there but you just keep the end in mind you have your vision and when you fail get back up and just keep on trying keep on pushing there's a, a lot of young smart people here in africa there's actually multitudes of african startups that are, uh, are growing very exponentially amidst COVID, um, by start by africans in kenya in nigeria so it is happening i think we need we need it to happen faster um, and i think forums like the ones that you have for founders connect africa help that you know help encourage the person who's at home who is thinking about his idea. So I, 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 think, I think that narrative is changing. There's, there's a lot of businesses that are, and I think that's what we should actually talk about, uh, the, the, the African businesses that are changing this world. So Sandbox is a, a one-of-a-kind community that brings together uh, different experts, um, I mean, we have all forms of professional service experts that uh, a business needs to grow. And uh, all of us are here, actually located here physically at the Sandbox. Uh, so when I say professional services, I mean people like we have an in-house lawyer, in-house accountant, uh, in-house tax expert, marketing, brand, uh, HR, you know. Um, so we, what we did was put together all the different services that an entrepreneur needs to build their business and then we brought them under one roof to make it easier and more convenient for the entrepreneurs to be able to find these services. Uh, and so we have uh, to date just about 25 different professional services. Uh, so you know on top of the ones I mentioned you can add things like governance, innovation, um, things like uh, risk management, operations. So, I mean, literally, debt, debt management, anything you think about that uh, an entrepreneur would need to either help their business recover or grow. Uh, investor preparedness and capital raising, all these are found right here at the Sandbox. One of the interesting things that people may not notice about the Sandbox is that all the experts here are entrepreneurs as well. So, so this is something put together by entrepreneurs and for entrepreneurs. Um, we feel the pain, the struggle, the, the challenges that entrepreneurs go through and uh, we just wanted to support a platform that one showcases their stories, two we are able to help with quick 
management tips here and there that not just the entrepreneurs whose stories you feature, but also the ones watching can learn from um, and, uh, and you know, get to pick out something that they can go back and implement in their own businesses. And uh, also uh, for people to get inspired that people can start out with very little and then end up with, uh, you know, big hospitals, big restaurants, deep multiple chains and that kind of thing. Um, which helps celebrate the right people, that you can actually build a business the right way and, you know, start to create wealth uh, if you're able to, you know, uh, build these, these proper businesses with the management tips that we've been talking about. Uh, so for us, it's really a no-brainer uh, to be part of something amazing like this and based on, you know, the feedback and how much people have been watching and just giving very positive comments around the stories that we've been airing. Uh, for me, makes me proud to be to be a partner of, of this show. Brace yourself for the second season of Founders Connect Africa coming up in a bit. In fact, it's next week. Yeah, we have a lot of interesting stories, um, entrepreneurial stories from different sectors, including the creative industry, a great, great industry that has grown uh, in leaps and bounds, as well as the realtors, the real estate sector, book writers, a lot of stories. If you'd like to partner with us to tell these stories throughout Africa, please reach out to us on the emails down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd like us to talk about your business as well, please write to us down here and we will get back to you. Season one is a wrap. See you in the next season of Founders Connect Africa.